board member making decisions for all of the budgets uh, for the school. And um, I was just really dumbfounded by God's amazing way of showing me that in spite of my weaknesses, in spite of the challenges that I'm facing right now, in spite of all the troubles and heartaches and pains that I have gone through, in spite of everything that I have lost, I have gained so much more. And in spite of it all, he has continued to lift me up above my peers. He's continued to um, show himself strong in my life by making sure that I'm still the head and not the tail. And it's amazing to me that I have all these senior executives coming to me asking me for advice um, in spite of what has happened and transpired in my life this year. And that's only a God thing. Um, I've really been seeing God work, not just in my life, but in other people's life. The ones that have really gone through the fire, they have been really uh, challenged with life's um, uh, situations. Uh, not in good way, in, in, but in a good way, but also in a bad way, in a sense where a lot of things had to die in their life. And it's like me, a lot of things had to die in my life in order for me to experience the new. Now, it's weird because I know I've gone through a lot, but I really, it's really hard for me to say, explain, but basically I feel like it didn't really happen. I feel like everything that happened in my life is just a distant memory. Like, I don't really remember it, um, which is really awesome because that's just the grace of God. But um, I just wanted to share a, a scripture that the Lord had put in my heart um, a few days ago. And it's about um, basically who God is. And the Bible says that he... You, um, that no one, no devil, no hell, no nut, whatever can curse, but God is blessed. I forgot what it was. I wish I had the scripture I'm driving. But basically, if God has called you blessed, you're blessed. The enemy is not as powerful as we think. We think that the enemy is like this big macho guy that has God wrapped around his finger. But the truth of the matter is, is God is God. And no one not even ourselves can stop him from doing what he's going to do and it's a it's a nature of pride for us to think that we can stop the enemy i mean stop god from fulfilling his calling and purpose for our lives especially if he wants to do what he wants to do so although yes i do believe that god gives us choices there are certain things that the lord has ordained since the beginning of time and if it's going to be if it's part of this bigger grant of scheme of things um he's gonna get his way one way or another and um i really believe that he has a way of Let's say we make a mistake, he has a way of redirecting our footsteps so we'll still be exactly where we need to be without wasting any time. So that's just amazing to me how, how awesome our father is. Anyway, I gotta get going because I'm almost here by the gate. But I just wanted to wish you guys a very blessed day and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye!